Welcome, twin flames, to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. I will be doing a reading for twin flames. Um, it is for the beginning of July, as always. It is also timeless, these readings. And um, it is not always about predicting the future. It is about uh, downloading messages um, that can often be different than the other you know, the, the readings, right, as you know. So uh, let's just start the reading. I hope you're doing amazing. Um, and uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for your amazing comments and sharing your stories. I know you're also in a different stage and phase in this journey. So uh, I hope uh, this reading can give you more perspective and messages. And I would always say uh, it is not so much about the, the words there. You know, there is no, uh, there's no facts. <laughs> it is uh, the words that <clears throat> are said that make you feel a certain way. That's how you know it connect to your journey and hopefully it is a good feeling but uh, yeah <laughs> I would say that's how you know um, it's uh, matching your story at this time so um, I'm using the Babylonian tarot deck and uh, yeah this is from uh, Roxana Paul in Australia I have not long woken up, so <clears throat> you have to excuse my 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 voice as well. <laughs> All right, let's just start your reading, dear twin flames. Please like, subscribe. You can also leave a comment. The pentacle, page of pentacles. Um, your person might um. See here, they, I see they feel small compared to you. They feel that this wish fulfillment that they cannot compensate with what they have and can give compared to how, you know, significant this union is. It has been established that this union have the elements of wish fulfillment. And if you see here as well, uh, on the top, I don't know if you can see it, but it's also your ancestors. And I got this downloaded message, which is kind of really weird right off the bat. It is that um, I got something about the DNA. Maybe that um, you might have, and I don't know if you ever taken this ancestor, I know you can do that in the DNA test. So within your DNA, there might be this something that is very, you can explain it, right? If you speak to to family, right? But there could be a two percent of this. Um, it's, it's it's that could be a nationality that you don't figure where does that come from. There could also be if you do a certain type of of DNA, there is something in unique. There are also I know there's a few percent that can have. It's called the non-human DNA. I don't know the word, but it's something quite unique. If you ever were to 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 do this test, and I. Picking up that your person as well, and the the link here is that not that you are sharing the, the DNA because twin flames share soul, not DNA. You would need to be related, but again, we are all related far, far back. But it's something about the your ancestors on your side and their side. If you were to to look into it, there is a link at some point here, and you see the wish fulfillment. There is it was already. In, in the in the scope in, in the destiny is always already foreseen right it could also be here you see two children that grew up right there is and for one day to to meet again now i have uh, i'm picking up on your person's side here they are going through a time of feeling that uh, <clears throat> things are a bit heavy on them. The moon energy is feeling sadness, but it's also very still. It is uh, something beautiful, yet it can be quite dreamy. Uh, the face they are going through. Uh, emotions are coming up to the surface. Emotions that they are not quite comfortable facing. The emotions in them can be that even when the sun come up, they are hoping that they can offer something significant because the empress she 
only uh, look at what is significant, but that is also to the judge of the empress as well. So they could also, they know that the empress is a uh, very smart. Um, also the empress, cannot, you cannot predict what she's after. So they know that they don't really have that much to give, but the empress have not said uh, what they expect. Now, what you have experienced with with your person um, is that they have, instead of coming forward with what they have, they have come forward with, uh, they haven't come forward at all. They could have also uh, done something that is causing a tower moment, more of a shocking, instead of giving what they have uh, and, and work with that, they have, uh, they could have brought you into a tower moment that is actually happening on their end. And um, uh, so what, so, so you had to take a breather from the, what you can expect from them in the 3D because they did not, they didn't offer anything at all. But you have here, when it comes to, it wasn't the expectations of <clears throat> something financial, it was expectations when they came forward to come forward with a um, offer. Now, because this person, they don't have that much to offer. I see that this person have met, uh, this is a queen of wands. This could be regardless of the gender, where the queen of wands here, see also the cats. Uh, it is that the cats are off very, very, very soft right the cat can be so nice to bump into this cat and they can seem to be your best friend but they also just want to be stroked they want to be the uh, they want to be very charming so there is possible that there is a third party here that where your person had felt uh, this kind of melancholy because they don't what they have is very basic they view you as someone that live in abundance. So they could look at the materialistic side to you and them and then uh, say, no, I, yes, this was my wish fulfillment, but I have to stay here. There is someone could whisper in their ear and say, you have everything that I need. Whereas you'd speak to them telepathically, this person tend to listen to what's been whispered in the 3D. <clears throat> and that is a trap. For them. That is a trap that your person seem to move into from time to time because they have difficulties connecting with the 5D. And they could also have tried to, because they say, it is unrealistic for me to be with my counterpart. There has also been a tower moment. I have also already ruined it. Why don't I scout in my environment to see what you know, someone can replace that union, right? Someone that can match what they have, right? So there's something here where they have been stalling, they could have been stalling if there's a third party. Now, something is about to change and wrap up. It can be that this person, one, will face their fear, they come forward with what they have, this will be the last chance, but you might say, yes, there is a leap of faith taken but we don't know yet. In your higher conscious, and I, we saw in the last reading, the high priestess kept reappearing. And I would say also, and that is <clears throat> listening to your own inner priestess, high priestess, right? It is also, um, it is about listening to where the journey is at, where the journey is at is an important phase. And as all of you know, uh, uh, by now that, you are in different uh, places in the journey and it depends on how you look at it. If you are the person that have met uh, your twin flame and have been separated, that place is not where you probably feel like reflecting and looking. Uh, it's, it's, it could feel that time where you're in pain. I don't see pain here. I mean, three of swords is often pain, nine of swords together with the 10 of swords. I would say that if I was to, maybe describe something that, I mean, I'm just imagining here, right? So it is that, let's say if you, right, you had a serious accident, 
let's say that your bones were broken in all the places and the pain was excruciating, let's say. But then the doctor said, well, in 12 weeks, uh, we have, can you see these three people over there? I've done exactly, you know, this treatment on all of them and you're going to be 100%, right? So one patient could have said, oh, perfect, great. I'm feeling so happy now. I get on with my life. That's not how it happens, right? The doctor would also say, for, for the pain, we can actually give you some morphine. And even though the patient know I could be addicted to this morphine, I could extend the treatment period and actually I want the pain to go straight away. I say yes to the morphine and that morphine is healing. So let's say if there is a heartbreak in a union, I would say you need your morphine. What's the morphine? That is anything that makes you feel close to this person, which is the physical touch, which is the hearing the words saying, um, you know, come, uh, you know, they're coming back. That is why also I think when listening to tarot and, and, and one should never really judge how people listen to what on tarot, right? Because you have the, the realistic advice saying, you know, that person isn't good for you. You can find someone better, a realistic advice. Well, it could be someone that picks up something in the connection that you absorb and you feel soothed because of it, right? So that is up to you. So I would always say, uh, you should always respect people's different faces of a journey. Because if you are in the painful phase where you need the morphine, you get your morphine, you will still heal. But whatever that is for you, some need something intense, right? That will be, that, that could also be, I don't wanna hear about, uh, let's say delay on the twin flame journey. So sometimes I would say, if you're in pain in, in, in twin flame journey and you listen to a reading where it drags out and you don't know if you see or meet them, probably don't listen to it because that's not your morphine, right? You might need the morphine uh, in brackets, you know what I mean? So just as a, just as a side note here, and um, but here I do see that for many of you watching is that you might have taken you, you in the tower, you might have done something that is like, this is my soothing part of the pain that I am going through with this person. But actually now I'm still, I'm still, and I don't have any pain. I'm also in a place where I'm enjoying my life uh, and I actually can enjoy my abundance. I can actually see that even there was pain in this journey. At some point I can now see that in, in the pain, it was value that I experienced, but many, maybe you don't see it as well. So each to your own. But listen to your inner priestess. Because anybody on a twin flame journey, you are lucky in many ways, even if you have gone through pain. Because when you have gone through a certain phase of this union, separation perhaps that was painful, you have mastered how it is to pick yourself up and how it is again to utilize all the tools to your availability that you were not able to utilize before. Now you could, for many of you, I'm picking up here, you have almost moved away from the, if for those of you that for a period were saying, well, I still see me being with this person physically, like how I imagined from the first day is still how I imagined. Imagine because some of you things have changed. Now you're aware of the journey, but you're not really yet, you're, you're not really imagining uh, yet, uh, how it should look like. And so here, I see your person, how I see here, it is that whilst they're in the moon energy, whilst they are being stroked by something that is soft, by saying, stay put, stay put, it's fine. They are going to take a risk because they have said yes before. And when they said yes, they just kept staying in the moon energy. So they're going to take <clears throat> what they have, their page, and they're going to say goodbye to anyone that strokes them in a way saying, is enough with four pentacles. Because they say, if I only have four pentacles, I have nothing to lose. I have a lot to gain here. I am going through with it. So here it is. As you are detaching from your person here completely, there will be a message of love. There will be a tangible message coming towards you. But this time you could feel 
confused or almost shocked and almost what i was ready to let this you know this 10 of the 10 of cups go and quite frankly i have filled up my i have not polished all my tools you know even the cup that i thought i couldn't give to myself i have it and i like it i like the cup that i filled up to myself it's got everything i need it's got the right uh, it's like when you make a tea uh, you know or as we, at least over here you know if however you want that that's your cup of tea right <laughs> That is your cup of tea and you are not sure if you need someone else to make you tea anymore. But they are reaching out because they realize they cannot sit in the moon energy. They cannot go away from the past. They are here coming in with the truth and clarity. And you could be shocked, but this is a tower that is reversed. It is a tower that is reversed from... Okay, uh, build, building up a tower, someone disappears from the face of the earth. Maybe you have the seven of swords, which you don't. Here you have the eight of swords, the good news coming in, a last chance, someone taking a chance, someone speaking the truth. And that is going to put you in your head because you don't see it coming. You might have Leo, Gemini, Scorpio, Pisces in your chart. Uh, definitely, I also see an overall sun sign collection of, of uh, Earth. Then we have uh, your person. I am actually not picking up a specific sign other than that they might have Pisces within their chart. They might have Taurus. I don't know why I'm picking up that, but that's just my intuition telling me <clears throat> that it is... Uh, now it's something to do with the world i think the the taurus is, is a part of the fixed sign or so there's i don't know why i'm picking that up and maybe also leo actually <clears throat> all right but we shall continue we shall continue spirits uh, can you please give me messages and also aries on your end and leo on your end i think did i say that what is happening in the person, their counterpart, situation, their surroundings? All right. Okay. Justice. Three of Pentacles and a Death card. Okay. The, your person have, have had to take a stand up for what they want. They have decided they do not want to no longer stay in the moon energy. They want to take a stand. And they want to stand up for themselves. They want to close a chapter. If they have been in a relationship that was once very happy and perhaps someone wanted to renew vows, but they have said, it's not enough. What I have is not enough. I need to move on. They want to collaborate. This person is looking to reach out. Perhaps they do it via social media. There is a transformation going because they have accepted a cause and an effect. They have accepted that the world must, their world must change. And they are changing it. There is a transformation. And uh, we'll see what is going to happen here. Any more messages? <clears throat> Any more messages? I'm also seeing um, uh, 2 1, 1 2, 2 2, uh, maybe 1 2. There is a, a reversed 1 2 thing going on. You might be seeing those synchronicities. Uh, 2 1, uh, 2 1, sorry, uh, 21 um, 12. It is quite a magnificent. Uh, or significant number as well. Uh, this is uh, one of the angels, Mer Meriel, I think. He is uh, supporting you to have success in all areas of your life. And it might also be something that your person is seeing right now. And um, yeah, the Hierophant. There is a traditional ending where they're walking away. See, walking away and they're walking into the past. Now, I... Uh, okay, I think I should, right, I think that I need to use another deck. I will use this and I'll pick them up again. Um, all right, uh, why the person that uh, my twins are, well, they're con I can't speak yet. I need to, to take a break soon and go and drink water. I, uh, uh, yeah, I, I woke up and I have a, a tight schedule, but uh, yeah, just... Uh, sat down and started doing this, the cards, right? Um, okay, so, all right. 
a judgment is passed upon them they are realizing that something that is traditional to them such as a marriage or where they've stayed they want to let it go uh, there could be they're being they're being judged they could be leaving a um, queen of swords it is possible see here they are signing a contract they are here yeah signing a contract and to to move forward <clears throat> there is an end i do feel it's more of an ending there is juggling here so that you could be dealing with a taurus or a libra uh, that have been juggling in terms of the direction they want to go because even if they stayed in a marriage it was again not enough for them they want to move forward to their happily ever after but before they move forward they have to uh, take some time out see again they have the moon energy there is someone here okay there is someone here interesting <clears throat> They could have people around them that they work with, for example, that tell them also to stay put. They are doing something that is also unusual for your person. There's something about breaking up a marriage and breaking up a tradition. Now, uh, they could get advice from a Pisces. They could get advice what to do. There could be a Pisces telling them, now it's, it's time that you seek uh, your journey. It is possible as well. Uh, Pisces usually give good advice. I see that someone is giving them a good advice. I, I see perhaps they have people around them that haven't really maybe i don't really see lack of support to be honest with you but that your person have not really been open about why they're doing what they're doing so this person could have been in a marriage is quite a quite you know set in stone but they have said something about that they are not really they are constantly looking elsewhere to to leave their surroundings and they are ready to speak the truth they know they have to be on their own they want to be independent and what's triggering them is you um, my dear twins it is that they've seen their soul have also seen that you have that, uh, you have moved to you have this journey you've done it all by yourself and they admire you even if they don't say it even if you haven't seen them there is something about that telepathically they have a connection to you you might in the next 10 days or you have in the previous 10 days have a, had a dream with this person that uh, they were in your dream. It doesn't, uh, dreams don't always happen as in, you know, if you're looking for a reunion and that was a, the, 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 an amazing reunion, it, they might have just turned up in your dream as a person in a crowd, for instance, right? Uh, it, they might have even showed up if you see this person looking at you in your current situation or something like that but I see that this person have decided here I have been happy in my situation I have experienced this ten of pentacles right but but I constantly seek change I constantly seek change therefore I am not really enjoying this this place so there is they are they are seeking this journey they are seeking the four of ones they are seeking it but they are also here see they are there is a queen of wands here i do see that this person i see that this person if you're a leo they're moving towards you but they are very attractive to you and i see that it is almost like they have they have created one journey already so it is that they could have been in a traditional marriage but they constantly cause chaos. And because of this chaos they cause, they're, they're ending it here. They are moving slowly towards you, but they are going through the dark night of the soul because they need to change to connect with this twin flame journey. They also need to come to you independent. And there's something that they are realizing. And that is, that is, it is not about what they come forward with in terms of money in the bank, what they might have thought before. They thought, oh, if I, if I, if I go towards my twin, I need to have a certain amount of money in the bank or I need to have a certain setup or at least I need to give them the best date or there's something like that that they've been saying, no, I can't do that. That's uncomfortable. So here they are desiring here to, to, to collaborate, but it's also feeling this, I, can I do this, um, feeling sad uh, that it, ahead of reaching out to you because you are 
so you know because really really here they know that this would have to go through a transformation they see that you have you're the queen of pentacles you're not talking to them you see them as a player see here they know that you see them as a player the queen of cups sees that you know are very smart you you are or they also see that they might have made you uh for you they may uh, what they've done their, their actions they caused heartache with you. They caused a tower with you. And they know that you have been sad because of it and moved away. And you don't really believe in this connection anymore. So what do they do, right? They know that they want to move forward with this soulmate union. They want to work on this union. They want to move towards the queen of pentacles. Because they know, after all, it is where they want to be they have to do it so i do see that they are there are there is a choice in love i see there is a decision in love and we are going to go again for the most likely outcome here there is a, quite a few people i also see here so based on their decision someone will not be happy and i cannot yet see and of course, uh, there are so many people listening to this reading, right? So there is one person here that, and I can't see who, that is going to be that they are moving forward towards that person. The person that they are not moving forward towards, whether that is a third party, friends, uh, something else, they are going to have a really, really uh, angry rejection. I am picking up. What I'm picking up, I'm picking up the Empress and the Queen of Wands. So choose who you are. There could be someone is pregnant. And there could be someone that this person gets a no. It comes with humiliation. Humiliation comes with anger. Anger comes with revenge. So, so there is something here happening around them. I think they're trying to keep it away from you. But I think already you might have decided that when it comes to any 3D with this person, you might be know about, but I see here there's something you know about a third party as well. Sorry, so I've gone to get some water. Um, okay, so, right. The feelings, but you know, towards you are complicated, right? They, it feels, it's not complicated. They see it clearly what they want, but they also see clearly that the, the real situation is that you are not there because they are the one that has caused this heartache and they have not come forward. So they know that, yeah, they have to come forward with truth, but can they do that? You have already walked away from them. Then there is a person constantly stroking them to say they're going to stay. But what they are here, this is about this person deciding to stay immature, whereas they are going to be ruled by those that um, um, push them into situations and, and tell them what the happiness looks like. Or are they, because they are looking for this freedom, right? This independence. So it is also where they are in the journey. If you are dealing with someone that is very 3D, that they have a setup, they, they are someone, maybe they are codependent. I don't really see that, but they have, let's say, they are dependent on the environment around them. This person, there's something about them freeing themselves. Freeing themselves here. So um, let's uh, continue. I will use this deck. But I do see... They are going to show up in your dream. There might be, I'm seeing a car, driving a car. The, the third party could be in the car. And uh, I see that you are there and, and, and one third party is someone that sits almost there half nude, like showing and, uh, and laughing at what, they, what they've done to their body. Uh, maybe they've done some work right they're like they are like very much flashing flashing their flesh and i see that you could be you are the person that maybe is more timid you could be clumsy around this person you feel clumsy or you feel nervous so you could uh, even struggle to put your seat belt on i see this as a two as a metaphor for and and your person is driving but he's looking back she is looking back at you and you think and you think that uh, this person is more observant of the person that flashed their flesh than you that could feel very clumsy not putting on your seatbelt correctly. 
um, and and then you start la to laugh and you laugh at and laugh with a very genuine laughter. This uh, makes this third party go away. This makes this it's in the dream. I'm I'm talking here. It makes this third party go away. So there is something about your person's memory in the telepathic way that how you made them laugh, how also they laughed about silly things that with you they have not really had the playful energy like it's very silly maybe a little bit quirky a little bit clumsy maybe they they remember you as being very maybe you were nervous around them at some point but they and you thought oh gosh why why, why am i acting this way or so and they think it's very endearing and maybe at the time they were you know they were that the person that queen of wands type regardless of the gender were very sort of confident this is someone that knows what to say look groomed and like very it's, it's 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 not even about the looks it's about someone very very confident maybe someone is very sort of sexually confident whereas you you are someone that is not so there's that contrast but they are remembering what their soul is looking for what actually they could be an insecure person but they absorb this type of energy of this this sort of very sort of seductive type of of energy now moving over to you we have the four of swords eight of swords the high priestess i see high priestess eight of swords Something in your intuition, it says, pause, stop. Something in your intuition could also, there's something that you are, yeah. Okay, I see here. You have left this person out in the cold, vice versa. You feel more at ease being in the high priestess, where meaning I feel more at ease visiting them in my dreams then opening my eyes and maybe see they are not there i feel better about the connection see here the queen of wands because in real life you could know that this person is in fact juggling so you do not want to look at this person in real life at this moment i see many of you decided well i have seen enough so this is uh, um, uh, unfortunately i'm picking up um very much of someone that is in a third party here i don't usually like to 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 do it, these readings but i do see that someone is trying to be quite um convincing but sometimes it is when someone is trying to be convincing it's a little yeah if i shall say yeah let's say if you you apply for a job you you resign and then uh, in in this resignation you have someone suddenly offering you everything but it's a little bit more than just saying, oh, please, can you stay? Here's an extra, you know, something that is a, is a boost. But then you also sort of say no. But there is suddenly there could be a third party situation that is, is saying to them like, no, you know, I, I'll, I'll pay the rent for a year. Or there could be someone going above and beyond. You know about this and you also know that. You also know that because you are taking on a lot of burdens at the moment that is in your financial world, world perhaps, see here, you do not want to participate in some sort of negotiation, even in the 5D or the 3D, you are trying to distance yourself because you are picking up that something is going on. I see for many of you, it could be you're picking up something in a dream about a debate with in choice of love with their situation so you could have no co contact with them whatsoever i'm saying that you don't even see them now i see that you are not even near them right now you are not trying to call them you are not uh, flashing your flesh right if that was at any uh, you know it's uh, right this is but see here there is this so if you see that the, the, the lovers and the devil is too very, you know, that right balance is what you want in a connection, right? You have the, the, the equal, the equal lust and love. But see here, someone have played mind games <clears throat> with your strength and see how much you can tolerate. But you have become strong, right? Here we have, you do desire, you do desire that there is something that you desire about confirmation about this journey that it is in fact them some of you might be saying uh, of course i know who my twin is but some of you might not 
oh, so something fell, that's the tower. No, I do see here that some of you have, don't know, there is two people, not someone that you are dating simultaneously for a certain period. No, there is two people around you and one is fake and one is love. It will be re revealed. Now, there is a person around you, whether that is your twin flame, whether that is someone else as a lover, whether that is a friend, we'll find out. Here, you have become very strong, very, very independent. You are not, you can be quirky, but you, you are not, you don't lack confidence, but you also will not forget a certain behavior where someone tricked you on purpose. This person could be the one coming forward with a love offer and still see here with the Knight of Cups here riding towards you, but you do not trust them. But with the Emperor, this is someone that appear in control and they will come into you as an Emperor, but they are coming out of, they are coming out of a place where you have only seen them in the cold, something uh, murky, right? I don't, uh, and, and I, I know people have a million different stories to what that is to you, but I, I don't want to spend the time going into detail, but let's say someone that abused their power and this is someone that want people to watch while they do it. Now you will be faced again with, see, now you will be faced again with this, my dear twins. It is that I see this person in front of me. Well, I'm different than I am back then. Why are they showing up? You're questioning. Why is this person showing up now? This could be an Aries. They, they're coming in. They, are, they look different. They act different. But you and your memory, it's still imprinted on you. And you are not king of swords, not here uh, ready. You are not here ready to trust this person. Also, I, I pick up a strong Aries coming towards you. I'm also picking up a king of swords and a king of pentacles. So there is, is this person that could be a mixture of uh, Aries and earth. I see earth placement, maybe moon uh, somewhere. But here you have the Four of Cups. There is two people coming towards you. And uh, there is one person here that is burdensome and you know you have to let them go. Here the King of Swords wanted to come out twice. We will continue. Because there could be a person in your work situation that has been looking at you that you don't even think of. That is, it's a, this is a very bizarre. There is like something happening in parallel with the new and the past. Somehow in your energy, even though you don't want to be in the, this energy, you could be completely withdrawn. If you, um, what well, if you sleep, I was going to say, I hope you do. Uh, when you sleep, um, you will pick up, you will pick up a tower moment. You could pick up an ending. You could pick up third party situation. Something like that could give you signs in your dreams. And the thing here is that in your reality, you have frozen and are standing still. You have anyone, almost everyone on, on a distance at this time. But there is someone that is going through quite the change. But because they are linking up to your energy, they come up here, but they might not be able to contact you. And again, if you remember last reading, it was very, very much this telepathic. Very, very, very telepathic. So you might just, as we speak, say... See here, no, I, I know what I want, though. I know I want the queen, I'm, I am the queen of pentacles. I will only hook up with the king of pentacles, regardless of the sign. Uh, and that is if I want to do that, because for many of you, even though you want to have a celebratory energy around you with someone, there is that. You remember right now toxicity and, and mind games, and, and you do not want to jeopardize your bliss for that. So I see for many of you, you decide while you can 
So you decide, some of you could say, well, I have been out in the cold for a while. I feel better about connecting with them in the 5D because I need to get all the answers because I know if I jump out in the 3D and I see what's going on uh, or someone is coming towards you, me, I don't want to be confused. So spirits, what are you trying to tell about, what are you trying to tell us? What is the most likely outcome? What is the most likely outcome? The death card, an ending transformation for what was. Two of swords could feel blindfolded, could be watching something here. Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Here you have the Hanged Man. Now, King of Swords, Ten of Cups, right. Someone is coming towards you, but a situation around them is holding them back like no tomorrow. Now, there could be someone that knows that this person's coming towards you. You don't know it. They not, don't know it. And they're trying to stop it. So I would even advise to, to almost stay off the grid. They're trying to look for you. Now, there is a third party trying to look for you because they have said something to a third party that they were my, always my first love. I'm going towards them. Uh, and, and even if they know that they don't speak to you, it's putting thoughts in someone's head that don't like it. They're fighting. It's, it's almost like they are fighting against a ghost. This person is, is furious because they want to change their life. They want to still connect with you, even though it is unrequited, meaning you... I'm actually picking up some of you haven't seen this person for years in physical, maybe, or you you, you have had maybe observed them uh, on social media, but no communication per se. There is something like that where this person cannot get over you and they, it's, you know, they did get over the connection because they moved on, right? Uh, with, with another connection, but they can't, their soul cannot let go. So they are really coming to this realization what they have to do. They want to give the page of pentacles, but even if it's that page of pentacles, when they come in, it it will be through a very far, it's like an open crack in the door, meaning this could be that they don't have your number, you don't really stay on social media, but they somehow, one of these channels, have a way to reach you. It happens very fast. When it happens very fast, you know why, and there is half joy, but there is more OMG, why are they contacting me? But they want to give you the Ace of Pentacles. You feel petrified or terrified in a way of, it, it's a bit like my world's now standing still. I'm going to not breathe for a little while. That feeling because they're coming in through a crack and you can't, you just can't believe it. You really can't believe it. Um, so, and, and you might also be, I don't have time for this. Or, uh, yeah, it's that, I don't have time for this. <laughs> and you could just be, you know, come back in August. Um, there is something like that. What is happening in this uh, surroundings? What is happening here? You could see something in the corner of your eye. Let's say if you um, you delete uh, various social media, I think every everybody does. Uh, I'm famous for doing uh, the Mercury retrograde. There's also, for me, there's a few, uh, and I think many people have that. You know how you choose your... Um, incoming channels right in in the past it was like whatsapp always use whatsapp and then in or messenger like facebook I, I closed both because you just get all kinds of you know and it's you know you have to choose your your channel right so the channel that you use is not they could have tried to send you a message and they're like oh i can't reach them you you so what's going on with the two of swords with the page of swords with the queen of pentacles right now yeah, something about here, you could see a message. When you see the message, you feel happy. Or there's this, oh, they try to reach me, but I don't have to answer because we are not connected really, right? I could pretend I don't see the message. Now, the seven of swords here, there is a queen of pentacles that is a very strategic. What is this for? Lies to see and a mask and strategy and unexpected twist. Queen of Pentacles. Now, I see that, uh, right. So, I see here, 
there is someone trying to control your person getting away even if they are a knight and they should just be happy they get away because when they get away maybe they have a chance to grow up so i see someone resisting it it can even be a family member a boss I don't really see love coming up, but they are like, oh, you know, if, I, if they they have managed, if you see here, they managed to get your person here to turn direction and now look towards them and maybe make plans. Page of Pentacles, the moon. They are very nervous about coming forward and they think, oh, we already had such a long break. I walked away or they have walked away from me. A knight of swords that is now a knight of swords could be an air sign. They want to come towards you, but you know, you are the attractive one. It's a, it's like on the hanged man. King of swords want to connect with you telepathically. There is sadness here. There is sadness here because they know that they missed out on something beautiful because they kept their guards up but they want to connect with you. But this is very much someone that needs to realize that, um, right, the reason they want to connect with you, if they think of connecting you, as in, I want to see if they're around you, they respond, is it good for my ego or not, right? If that's what they do, you'll pick it up and you don't want anything to do with them because I see here that you could be quite evolved. And so when they contact you, you could already be like, this is the, it's something that you feel like you're dragged into. You don't want to be part of that. You don't want to be part of the, if you feel that, if it, you feel something is, I would always say, go, go with your gut feeling. And if you feel something is off, you feel, mm, uh, see, you, I feel good in my life, but you know, I have reached certain abundance. I want to walk away from this person. It's not worth it because this person, yes, is my twin flame. They're, they're quite chaotic, right? I also, I feel attractive, abundant, and I have everything that I need. King of Swords trying to connect with you. They could have water in their chart. King of Swords is a very careful character. So if, if your person has this King of Swords, I would say it is an easier energy to deal with in terms of uh, when they come forward, they probably will come forward in a way of a friendship. Uh, not so much of that. I see someone is not approaching you in terms of pressure. They're approaching you in terms of, I want to connect. I want to really reconnect. But I understand that yeah, see, someone really wants to reconnect or reconnect with you, but you see them as a knight of swords, see? They could try to appear in your dreams. This person will visit you in your dreams. All right, spirits, who is this person? Can you give us any messages? Because we see quite a few people in here, right? What is happening? For some of you, you could have had a twin uh, and you put that on ice right or it was left out in the cold this uh, happiness that you wanted to build with them and uh, didn't happen and someone could have taken their place you feel it was very sad and you moved on to a new opportunity now here we have a three of swords there's something about leaving out a knight a knight of wands three of swords they could stay in a marriage i'm seeing here Someone is moving towards you slowly or they're ending a third party. I can't say which one, but I do feel here. See here, transformation high priestess. There is here, uh, what I'm picking up. Why is the three of swords here in this reading? Yeah, they cannot forget this connection. They cannot stay still in this connection uh, where they are. Because they want to go towards their happiness. But to go towards their happiness, they have to transition through this new, uh, to, uh, to the new version of themselves here. There is also, some of you don't want to really uh, pay attention to them. Maybe you, you are afraid to see something you don't like. This person is trying to connect with you telepathically. There is a queen of wands here. See, ten of wands, ten of wands, three of cups, ace of cups. Right. Okay. In this reading here, there is a queen of wands that is playing with magic. The person that is playing with magic believes that manipulation using the tool the right way will always have a stronger power than the high priestess that's, that believes in the soul connection. Now... Here, someone have made a decision about an ending. It could also be you because you have seen 
you have seen that someone have chosen an ending, right? Or chosen another road. So maybe someone have chosen the Queen of Pentacles and they're staying put. Then there is this person here. There is an ending. I see someone there is an ending and they're slowly moving towards you. They want to work on this connection. Maybe you do work with them. There is, they also see that you take double burdens. You do work very hard. Maybe they can't reach you uh, as well. We have here the knight, the, the knight of swords, right? This person here, they really want to... What, what this person wants to do is to have an opportunity to celebrate with you to connect with you. So if you're dealing with someone that is coming into, you know, this, this, this new energy, they, they could come out of an ending. If there is someone after them. They also don't want to bring you that burden, but you could pick up someone's quite toxic energy here. There is this, someone's trying to intervene in a dream. They know that they have telepathic communication with you and someone is furious they want to uh, to stop this telepathic communication that they have with you which is quite difficult especially when they are the higher friend and you are the high priestess right it is uh, impossible to stop telepathic communication because if you go back again to the ten of cups your ancestors already put you together so it is even though yes yeah, someone moves forward in another in another relationship which have happened here this person wants to be back on that road but do you want to be back on the road that is the question and i also see you hesitating because you are not whereas maybe at some point you were oh i can take you know, I, I, you know, I know there's always might be a third party or some, there's some drama here and there, but no, I don't really want any kind of drama. I, it, I will only open up to someone that had been free and single and had dropped all the burdens, you know, for, for a while. So I think that's where you are. That is why you don't want to connect with them. You really are taking the high road. All right. So here I also see there is an event that will happen that will affect someone. Uh, I also saw 10 um, ones, um, and it's also that there could be someone that is, has lack of self-confidence, lack of realization, and there could be unemployment and misfortune and stagnation. Uh, but if the person takes the right role, this can quickly turn around. Uh, there is also um, something about the subconsciousness where this person is looking to the left, they're looking to the right, if I see this person in a car. They are here going to face that, do they want to have a quick win? Do they want this person here? They're in a crossroads where, where they, do they want to have a quick win? Meaning they get the beautiful event, they get everything around them, they get people they're familiar with. Or what is it in their soul that is nudging, nudging them to move forward? That moving forward is to move towards you, their, their high road. But they know when they're moving towards you, the twin flame union, there might be a very long time before they see you because you have put this person on a distance for whatever reason as well. So uh, if you have closed this chapter, which I see, and you see this person showing up as rather toxic and that they have betrayed you, even though you accept the journey, right? So there is a lot. Now, this is more to do with, I feel like I need to take this, to do with though. For, for this there's a person here and i feel that it is your person that they are no it's i'm at that age where i want to sh to celebrate and uh, where i want to to be with a, a spouse uh, where i want to say that that even if i haven't achieved my you know goals in that sense i will achieve happily ever after but so yeah someone is experiencing finance uh, crisis but can they trust to have faith? There is an unrequited love situation. They would have to go with the flow. They would have to release an ex, right? There is a honeymoon period getting to know each other. You are very optimistic here. You could go towards a soulmate making an effort. There is deception here. So there is clear that there is clear that here, uh, whatever it is, here you have the past life. Now, if you go back to the DNA, your ancestors, you have, will always have a thread with this person. There's something to do with your ancestor or ancestors orchestrating you to come together. Now, this, at anyone, ex <coughs> sorry, <coughs> experiencing a twin flame journey is, uh, is going to ex experience that, but there is a, a, another person here that is there. There is someone here that is very, very um, bitter. So it can be you. It can be them. Because you also have this, how you feel is that 
It could be jealousy, it could be mind games, or it is them playing that on you and you don't want to risk it. That I see as well. Now, uh, obviously, when it comes to how anybody's feeling in love, right? Uh, most will say out loud, I don't care if they move forward with someone else, but if you see them with someone else, they will definitely, you will definitely care or it's them. So someone here is saying, I couldn't give a damn about, I wish them very well. So someone means it while someone else would not. So if you are the person, of course, you, that will require a lot of involvement. I think, um, I mean, when, when, you know, I don't think anyone have ever healed that much. If you really, if you have, you know, two days ago, wanting to, 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 you see the future and suddenly you, you hear that this person has chosen the future with someone else or vice versa, you know, there is a, there is something to do with this. There is a rejection here though, that has more of an overreaction to it. So again, apply it to how it resonates. Someone is going to make a stand right now and one person will be set free. I will continue uh, to pick up messages. So we'll see here. Let's see on your, I feel like I need to kind of try to, to go back and focus a bit on you here, what's coming up. What is going to happen here? What is the most likely outcome for my dear twins? What is the most likely outcome? Yeah, the hanged man. Pisces energy, the Hierophant, you are learning, working, that's you where you are, three of swords, king of pentacles, nine of pentacles, the magician, you're manifesting, the empress, in, you're in a hermit mode here, right, I see here, right, mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Okay, a queen of wands. There is a queen of wands here. That is the person that is fearing defeat. They fear being released. They fear losing. You already think that uh, this person have chosen to stay where they are. You have already healed from heartbreak and you do not want to face another heartbreak or I, I see that something about you, I'm, I'm fine with it. You could be surprised. Um, and again, I, I am not looking to give, um, it's, it's not so much about giving, um, like let's say, who's winning here. I think this is about, so I see where you are at. You are taking the high road. I saw the higher front underneath the deck where you are saying already, Regardless of the offers I have around me, I have experienced one road. It didn't lead me to anywhere. It led me to despair and it led me to this uh, holding on to a grudge, perhaps. So if you, let's say, uh, you react, if you have seen someone with a third party at some point, of course, uh, it's natural to have a reaction. So when you saw that, you felt pain. You felt pain, you felt that you were not the chosen one and so on. Now, however, you have healed. So it is that you are actually able, and that's for many of you, not all of you. And it's not about uh, a competition. It's not about saying, oh, well, today I managed to see someone or wish someone well and happy. Uh, and, and I have two points to me kind of thing. I, I do see it's more going to be a natural way of you saying, I set this person free because inside of my world, I have regard has been healing and uh, I don't, you know, it's, it's almost like this free release for you so that you have been working on this. I am, I am happy for my counterpart, regardless of the outcome, as long as they are happy. So many of you are in this place, which is a great place and some are you might not be. So you could have this unconditional love for them where you say, you see the truth, right? Clarity. You say, I, uh, I can't, you, you can't say it because you are, you have gone through the, the motions and healing and, and you might also have come to the conclusion that actually I do not want to be with this person, right? I do not want this person. So here you have the girl with a snake. 
So you could be dealing with someone that, and I don't really like to throw the word about because it's just, if you are dealing with a person that they use uh, manipulation tactics to, to get you back or get your attention and, or to even hurt you or to even lie that they, let's say, were single. See, this is a twin flame. See, here we, we're getting the cards again. Uh, so reminiscing keepsake. There is someone, there could be two people in a connection here that is very self-absorbed. It's all about winning. There is a person here that you know, and if that is your counterpart, you there is something about there is a person you know for certain that they always keep options because they haven't evolved. They keep turning up as a knight. Then you have healed from that enough to welcome here this earth sign that is grounded. They could work with you, or let's say this is a grounded energy. You might have Virgo in your chart. Pisces in your chart, Gemini is here, uh, Libra is here. Whoever you open up to, it's not going to be someone that is the girl with a snake, you know, the empath, it says, and the narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enabled, boundaries, keeping that, the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissistic, one-side relationship and love bombing. So if you have been in this dynamic, you felt still your unconditional love because they are twin flame, but you are still letting them go. Someone is reminiscing about you. Now, their tactics don't work. So if this person, yeah, they are your counterpart, but they are still playing the same game. They can't help it. They constantly, because here there is clear to me that many of you here have chosen the higher road, meaning even towards them, even towards friends, towards family. There is something about peace. You are in peace. You are rather staying alone and in peace, working on yourself. You are manifesting abundance, greatness. You feel peaceful. That peace for you, it is crucial. If you're dealing with someone that is not in that bubble, right? They want to burst your bubble, but they cannot burst your bubble. They can only be inside your bubble, and that is if they have changed. If this person, there is no change, you will automatically stay where you are. So that is what's going to happen. Uh, that is the change here, that you are no longer open to this person uh, or anybody for that matter to interfere in your bubble because your bubble is highly protected from your inner you know, your inner guidance, the high priestess, you are very much protected. No one will come in there and no one will disturb or mess with your, you and your bubble. Spirits, what else? What is the most likely outcome here? So I'm seeing also, yeah, someone want to take a stand and stand for this, but they, so you have changed, you're moving forward, there is a fire sign that could come towards you, but they are still juggling. You know it when they come towards you. There is also a king of cups. There is, it could be someone at work. There is a lot of hard work here. You have the four of uh, pentacles, justice, and the temperance here, and the ten of pentacles. So there is someone that will sort of come towards you seeking maybe your abundance, right? You see that straight away, you say no. I could be a person in your work, I'm just picking up a few messages now. But I see here, there is a per there is a person here that will, here you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Judgment and the Four of Wands. Now this is your reading, so I would say that it, it is happening to you um with the star here the chariot you could travel and come there's just the higher front you could meet a person that you end up marrying um uh, you could meet the person that you end up marrying someone is choosing to move forward with you there has been a tower moment with the queen of pentacles here it has happened the king of pentacles is showing up to you but they have hurt you before it's how you view them when they come up but they're taking the lead in love i'm seeing here they're coming towards you they do feel their emotions right they won't they don't have much but they are coming in with fairness they are staying calm because they know they want the ten of pentacles with you so there is there is a person here that actually 
uh, is accepting what, uh, right, their journey. They are deciding either way. I am, I'm departing my old life. I'm going towards my twin, but it's going to take the time it needs because they have caused damage to the connection and their impression about you. I see this person might be, um, I'm picking up Libra is here quite a few times. So I think it's, it's Libra, this person could be. Anything else here? So there is energies happening on the outside that isn't, you have decided that it's, it's, uh, I'm leaving it. So your person have made a decision. They are going to leave. They are going to leave where they are because there is nothing to celebrate. They want to come towards you. This person could have Pisces in their chart, but they have to be strategic. They have to also climb the ladder again. Now, the queen of wands, who is it? It could also be you feeling very attractive here. It could be feeling you that is very, very attractive. Or there is someone here that realized they made the wrong choice. They want to turn around. They want to come towards you. But you are choosing to move forward with a soulmate. I do see two people in your reading here. So I see a Virgo, strong Virgo, or someone, a Taurus, that I've been in a marriage uh, uh, and, and there is still someone stroking them, the Queen of Wands. Because of that, they never get out the door. You know it, you parked it, you're fine. There is another person here coming towards you. I can also pick up here two people, right, in the Twin Flame journey. So this is one, person one. Uh, because, you know, you all also have not the same person sign, but I'm also picking up there is a person that could have had a magnificent loss in finances to do with their work situation. And they're realizing they want to be where you are, not because they are still in touch with you, but because they see the abundance they can get where you live. Now they want to come towards you, but they know they have to, you know, build themselves up. Regardless here, this happiness is coming towards you based on someone changing. There is one person here or however that is around you that you will, uh, you are realizing this person was never the one, right? There, This person was never the one. I see there's going to be a choice, but it's not really a choice because you're not going to hesitate so much. It's going to be quite clear because one ex one uh, is a, could be an earth sign, but appear more as a, a knight of wands behavior. The other one is someone that you will see that have changed. People tell them they have changed, uh, even if you don't know them so well. For example, there can be someone that you, you don't know that so well, but they see, you know, this person, you know, that they really have changed, you know, right? And this person here, they know that what they want and what they want, it is with you. Uh, it is clear they want it with you. And here as well, you have also the Queen of Cups in reverse. They might know that there is no way how say that you will take them back. Uh, as well there is this they, they uh, are not too optimistic let's put it that way uh, if they can uh, have a future with you I think I have Rinstick decks we'll, we'll use this as the last one and um, so uh, here here love is coming towards you but I see for you it's a little celebratory you are I do feel that you are also even though I over here, it doesn't really matter if the person is earth or the third party is earth or, or fire sign. It doesn't, that's, that's kind of insignificant. But see here, there is something here about a person, no, they cannot win. Going through the dark night of the soul. There is also walking away. I do see you are going to celebrate. You're also, you are really keeping that calm here there could be people around you you are being strategic see here you know that you can't win with someone here you know that you have to leave these uh, people and, and celebrate with the right ones i see here what is this yeah um there is a it could be you being very strategic also ducking away from someone to be honest with you or someone is ducking away because they can't uh, negotiate with someone why is the seven of swords here and the five of uh, swords Someone is watching you and they're being very strategic with how they are coming forward. I also pick up someone here. All right, all right, all right. Okay. If you think someone have ghosted you, 
I don't know why this card came up, but it did. If you think someone is ghosted you because they have uh, chosen someone else and that's what you're going to see of them, uh, you're wrong. And uh, this person have uh, could have uh, gone off the radar because they have to keep all their plans to themselves because someone wants to interfere. They know that they could have tried in the past to say that they're leaving a situation, but someone went crazy. They caused too much havoc. This person, some of you could be dealing with someone that really do not want to be humiliated in public. They know that they have to be strategic. Some of them remember an advice that you told them as well, uh, and they're going to do it. I see there, there is love coming towards you. It is quite clear. Uh, the advice to you here is, I would say for many of you, you know, when it comes to the hanged man, stay there. This, the action is not required from you. That's what I'm seeing. The action is required from someone because only them can take action because they have to get back on the road. It's fine enough to know that I want to, which road I want to get to, but before they're there on that right motorway, right, driving steep, fast ahead, they need to, to find it. And I see that you, you are already on the road. And, and there's no rush for you to get off the road or, or look for anyone to help or anything like that. And you are staying on the road. And I would say, this is also about someone finding themselves again. So almost ignoring them or not, if, you know, never force anything. It's not, and that's why I will always say, if you, if you listen to and reading and immediately take action, it's not what, what it's for. And that's why I always want to say, um, it's not my words. And I talk a lot, right? It is how those words could make you feel. If any feelings are attached to certain points in that reading, whatever that is, right? Uh, and of course, we can sometimes get um, attached to everyone. Is I remember when I started doing tarot like years ago, I was like, I took the three of swords out of the deck because I was like, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to get that in <laughs> the deck. So I took all the bad cards out of the deck. <laughs> Uh, right so so so, so uh it's it's uh you know it is how you feel when you listen to certain words if you feel that you connect with you know the emotion the motion of it then you know that there is a sign for you but regardless you will find a place in the world even if you don't know how your life is at a turning point right now you are ready remember who you came here to teach others. Remember many of the clouds casting shadows aren't real. Life isn't a sprint, it's a long race and you're not just in it to win it. You're stepping into your highest divine path. Know that you're safe and protected. Forgiveness sets you free. It keeps you from hanging on to what's never meant to be. So I will also say this, that um, if you feel that because as often you can think that, oh, uh, the stillness, nothing's happening. But I see for most of you are quite, uh, and I always see that on the comments as well. Uh, you are someone very highly intelligent, uh, emotional intelligence. Uh, I see that many of you have actually uh, moved into, let's say, the good bit of the journey where actually you see, thanks God, I am actually not with a person or was not with a person when that's when I really wanted to be with them because I wouldn't be where I am today. Now where I am today is I am self-sufficient. I have different thoughts. I view life differently. I feel that regardless of what's happening around me in any shape or form, I am actually content. And that is uh, obviously a, some, a, a journey that you explore and a journey that can be bumpy and a journey, right? Everyone has different journey but I see that you are grateful for what you have experienced to now but there is something very exciting coming towards you in love but the advice is and uh, do I have do I have any more I was going to use these um okay yes I do goodness it's warm in here today oh Oops, oops, oops. Okay, so I dropped the card and it says, I'm going to pick them up. Yeah. You have here of the tiger, could be significant. You have here of the ox, could be significant. So it could also be two. I'm picking up two people coming towards you. There's also. Right. Take time to breathe out. A new start is coming. 
Your hard work is paying off and do not let your past hold you back. It is time to give rather than take. We also have Capricorn and Virgo and emotions will be running high. Stepping out of your comfort zone and hold your vision. See, yeah, this is very, very important here. It is that, it's very much of that. If you are right now in a stillness from the world, in the stillness from which road to take, in the stillness, but actually knowing you are good, stay on that, you're doing good. Don't, uh, don't uh, accept interruptions just because someone uh, tried to, or it, it, it gives you a feeling of, well, if I don't react now, they must think so and so. It, actually, the advice here, stay still, hold back. It is going to be for the greater good. Thank you for watching. Please uh, like, as always, subscribe, leave a comment. I wish you a wonderful, wonderful weekend.